Hello and welcome to Top Stories. I'm John Martiki. The spread of novel coronavirus disease in Nigeria continues to record significant increases as the latest statistics provided by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control Review. Nigeria now has 213,487 confirmed cases. 23 new confirmed cases were recorded in Nigeria. To date, 213,487 cases have been confirmed. 200,301 have been discharged. 2,973 deaths have been recorded in the 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory. Now, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, says the Federal Government will not be issuing circular as regards the December 1st, 2021 vaccination deadline for civil servants. Mustafa, who serves as the chairman of the Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19, disclosed this to newsmen in Abuja. Newsmen had reported that the bo boss Mustafa-led committee had, in October, announced a deadline for civil servants to get vaccinated. Mustafa had said that civil servants who fail to present certificate of vaccination will have no choice but to present negative PCR tests. Findings by a newsman, however, revealed that as of November 19, 2021, no circular had been issued by the Office of the Head of Service of the Federation, headed by Dr. Fola Shade Yemi Esan. Some civil servants who spoke on the condition of the anonymity also stated that the mandate could not be affected, affected as there was no circular to back it up. Now, residents of Sabun Brini local government area of Sokoto State have faulted police claims over the number of casualties in the latest attacks on their villages. The state police command, while confirming the attack, said suspected bandits attacked three villages in the area. The command public relations officer Abu Bakr Sanusi stated that nine persons were killed in the separate attacks that took place on November 15, 16, and 17 of 2021. This brings the number of persons killed by bandits to 52 within 72 hours along the eastern flanks of the state. Meanwhile, a former chairman of Sabon Bruni local government area, Idris Gubir, faulted the figure given by the police. Gubir, who is now a special assistant to the Minister of Police Affairs, Megari Dinyadi, told newsmen that the casualty figures in attack was 27. He said while 21 persons were killed on November 16 in three villages, four were killed on November 15 within six others injured while another two were killed on November 14. Now, the Casino State Command of Nigerian Police lost two officers in a fair encounter with bandits. Operation, operatives of the command also killed two bandits in encounter, which took place in a bush near Bauri village, Safana local government area of the state. The operatives were also able to recover one AK-47 rifle and two unregistered motorcycles from the bandits. The state police commissioner, Sanusi Buba, confirmed the incidents at a press conference in Katsina. He urged residents of the state to always volunteer credible information on activities of criminals to security agencies with a view to making the crime the state crime free now the national security advisor baba gana mongunu is partnering the global community engagement and resilience fund and action aid nigeria on the localization of the policy framework and national action plan for preventing and encountering violent extremism the head strategic communication and counterterrorism center office of the national security agency ozaya imohimi disclosed this in a statement at two-day national conference which headed which ended on Friday, November 19, 2021, in Abuja. Delegates who were drawn from the Northeast, Northwest, and North Central, traditional leaders, faith-based organizations, civil society organizations, deliberated on the team, scaling up by tackling down the localization of the prevention and encountering violent extremism policy framework and national action plan. 
According to Imoe Himi, the overall objectives of the conference were to provide a platform for multi-stakeholder learning and development of the recommendations using the experience of a range of national, state level and civil society partnership and oper operational the PCVE policy for framework in Nigeria. And that's all on Top Stories. Thanks for watching and happy weekend.